guys welcome back to my channel and today I have another fall DIY what I'm going to be doing today is I have a lantern that I've had for over well over a year and I'm going to decorate it for fall and I'm going to make a funky bow um, that I saw off of the on YouTube at Southern Charm Wreaths she makes really pretty wreaths so um, that's where I'm getting the idea for the bow and I've made them and I really do like them so let me show you what you'll need to make the project. Um, you'll need, and this was also a viewer request, they wanted me to make a bow. So here this is too. Okay, so um, what you're going to need is you're going to need several types of ribbon. I bought this one. I bought this ribbon at um, AC Moore for $2.99, and I think it's really, really pretty. And then I bought this one at Old Time Pottery. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks, um, it's a check, but it's kind of hard to see. And it was a dollar. And then I bought this one at Old Time Pottery for a dollar as well. And it's a check that definitely stands out more. And then I originally had this, which is what I used in the wedding, um, DIY that I did the other day for a dollar. So if I hope I have enough of this, that's why I bought this one just in case I didn't. So I'm going to try to incorporate this in there. And you'll need some chenille ties from the Dollar Tree. And I decided to go with this uh, kind of Halloweenish collar. And um, then you're going to need something to cut your ribbon and some scissors. And then I thought I would put in some little tiny pumpkins from Walmart. I'm not sure. Probably these colors, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each of my ribbons 30 inches long, and then I'll be back. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and I cut three of each color of the ribbon, three strips, 30 inches long, and I chevroned the ends while I was off. Now, to make up for, I was one shy of this, so what I did is I just cut one strip of this one, and I'm going to add it in this third bunch. And hopefully it'll be alright. So I've decided I want to start off with this one. And this is called a funky bow. That's what she calls it. So let me see. Okay. So what you do, I since my lantern's so large, I wanted, um, I cut each piece 30 inches. And then I want 10 inch tails. So what you do is you count in to 10, and since I have two together, I have to do mine a little different. And then you just smoosh your fingers together like that, and that will give you your loop that you want, which is a five inch loop, okay? And if you had um, ribbon that was only single sided, that was nice, then you would have to twist this bottom one around like this, but mine is the same, so I don't have to mess with that, okay? So what you do is you just kind of put it in your hand and smush it together a little bit. Then you get your next color that you want. Okay. And I have to come here and then I come into 10 and I smush it together. And then you just kind of grab it and put it beside your other one as best you can. Just kind of stick them together like this. And then here's my other one. Your hand's going to get a little bit tired, but it's really worth all the effort that you put into it. Okay, smoosh them together. And just stick them in there, side by side. I think that's still a five inch loop. Okay, now what we're going to do with these, same principle, but we're going to flip them the opposite direction once we get them done. So here's here and here is this one. Smoosh them together. Now with this, we're just going to put this one this way. Okay? And I guess that's where it gets the funky bow saying. Because it is very different, but it gives you a really pretty look. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far.
But it really is an easy way to make a bow. Okay. And then, let's see. No, I think I need, I need to do these other three. Oh, my hand is cramping. Okay. All right. So here we go. Eight on this side and ten on this side. And then we're going to flip back this way for this bow and put it sideways. Make sure you have them all sideways so they'll look pretty. And then this one is the one that's a little different because I ran out. So hopefully it'll still look good. Which way am I going? I'm going this way. And then here's our last one. Okay. All right. Now what we do now is we take our pipe cleaner, put it around where our hand is, put it back in here, Pull really hard and twist, twist, twist. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is start sort of fluffing it up some. And it looks better when you start fluffing it and pulling out the bows it really starts to take on a, a life of its own. I really think it gets really, really cute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let me flip this up so you can see. Get cooking. All right. Okay, here is the front of the lantern, and I just went ahead and put some of these little... Um, berries like this like I did in the wedding um, arrangement and I just stuck them in there I didn't even glue them and I think that's really really cute let me bring it here a little bit closer so you can see and then we'll put some pumpkins but I didn't want a lot I didn't want it to look too busy I think it really turned out adorable so what I'm gonna do is just take a few pumpkins I think and just put them right in here and like I said, I tied them around the back, um, and I'll show you that in a minute. I'll just put a few boards in here and some pumpkins. Because I don't want it too busy, but I want it to look festive. And you're not going to see the back of this because the way I'm going to have it sitting, and you'll see that when I do my home tour. But I really think it's going to turn out great. Okay, let me just pop this back. And there we are. And I think it's absolutely adorable. Let me show you the bottom of it. Let me take this down. I think that might be easier. Okay, there's the bottom of the front. And then there's the funky bow. I think it's really, really cute. And then, like I said, let me flip the camera around. Okay, I think I could show you better this way if the camera flipped around. Okay, there is the bottom of it. Like I said, I didn't want it too busy. And then here we go. And there's the funky bow. It's really easy to make and it's adorable. I really do like it and I'll show you right here how I attached it like I said I just put um, the ribbon in where I had twisted this and then I just brought it around and I basically didn't even tie a knot that's all I did so and if I would had longer I would have definitely tied a knot but I think it turned out really really super super cute 
Let me scoot it back some and try to get the whole lantern in. So you can see it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all in though. But you'll see it in my home tour. It is adorable. I'm really happy with it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.